Welcome to Lighthouse Ministries. We hope that you watch our service today and enjoy it. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Lord, have your way today. Oh God, bless and heal God. Bless us, oh God, name by name, family by family, in the name of Jesus. Heal, oh God. Heal this morning. Heal sickness this morning, God. You are the heal, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You have the Lord, my God, that healed me. Heal us this morning, God. Heal here in the name. Heal, oh God. Have your way here in the name of Jesus. God, we come against every spirit that's not like you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. In here, in here. This is God's house. This is God's house. This is where we give him praise. This is where we give him the honor. This is where we give him glory here. We come against everything that's not like him. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we clear this. We clear the air here, God. That you will have your way in here. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. And we thank you, brother, right now. We thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
about to punch you. Some people about to have a bad week. Some people, some people about to have a successful week. Some people dealt with grief. Some people dealt with job loss. But if you know that your God is a good God and He can bless you again and He'll bless you again and spend your life again and spare it again and heal you again and deliver you again, I believe that some people are here in this house that they can know that God is a good God. And because you know God is a good God, you got something in you within you that you need to release. You got a praise on the inside of you that you need to give God. And when we go back in two days, I'll get teacher and go up in a high grade. And it'll sing like a big choir. One, two,
We give you all the weapons. Oh, oh, oh. Praise and honor in Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. <laughs> we thank the Lord today. For everyone that's here today and those that are tuning in today, we thank God for you. Thank you. Uh, another amen. Sunday, Sunday morning, amen. Service.
of his own feeling, amen. Paul, amen, would be saying this, amen, in jail locked up. Well, yeah. and I, amen. Somebody, amen, I told, amen, and I tell my children this all the time. Especially, amen, my son, amen, LZ, I tell him this all the time. Said, Look, I said, now, talk is cheap. Uh -huh. Amen. He talked big. If you ever talk to me, he got some. Oh man, he talked big. What he gonna do? He gonna bring it. He gonna bring. He gonna build up mountains. Amen. Town downs. Make roads. Amen. Amen. Talk is cheap. Amen. And all what he gonna do? Amen. I said until you experience something, it's hard. Amen. Amen. Until you experience something, amen. To talk. And I learned, amen. Just, amen. Don't say anything because what? It's coming. Trouble gonna come your way, whether you want to or not. Mm -hmm. It's coming, yeah. Amen. You, Amen. You can talk. I don't, and sometimes it's hard to even tell us about how to have a baby. You ain't never had one. <laughs> I mean that that pain. I saw in my wife. Hey, hey, I said I don't want that kind of pain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Especially, Amen. Amen. With my son, Amen. It was some kind of pain, Amen. She took me and picked. <laughs> no, she grabbed me. Brother Mark grabbed me and picked me up and pulled me up on the table. And she ain't know me they picked me up, y'all. I said, Lord, what kind of pain is this? And they make a woman pick me up. Almost 200 pound men off the ground. Amen. I said, something. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I'm trying to tell you, let me go. Amen. Let me go. Amen. I'm going to bear you up and You may pick me up like a little child or somebody. Lord, but when you experience some things, amen, it calls you to get into, amen, a frame of mind, amen, where, amen, you go through, amen, you don't want to do anything. But Paul telling the Philippian trade, amen, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Amen. He said it again, amen, not if you just shake it off, amen. You know, you know, I want you to do this. Because circumstances causes you, amen, to come in with a pity party. Oh, God. Anxieties, amen, sits in. But then he, he went somewhere and little father, amen. He tells him, he said, and let your, amen, gentleness be known unto all men, amen. The Lord is in hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. He let you know, amen, even when you're going through, you're rejoicing through this problem, amen. Go to work, amen, with a smile on your face. Let them know, amen, amen, you're a witness for the Lord. My God. And I got there. I said, wait a minute, Lord. I said, sometimes, amen, that two vows that you have, amen, that you feel like, amen, living safe. Amen, you don't give me the amens on that. Amen, because sometimes it makes you want to say, amen, some words, amen, amen, that ain't in the Bible. Maybe I need to look at you, but maybe I didn't get that. Amen. Chris, sometimes your mama make you want to say some things. You, you don't have that problem. You, you don't have that problem. You know, they get in all your business. You want to say. You, you, you don't have that problem. But he let you know, amen, with gentleness. You, you, you don't have that problem. Okay, all right. We ain't got to pray. I thought I would pray for you. So pray for you. But he let them know, amen, now, amen. He said, but we know unto man that the Lord is at hand. He won't didn't want to, to hold up that standard. Amen, amen. When we look at this, amen, it's just gentleness I'm talking about. It's, it's the gentleness. I mean, the commentary said, not so concerned with un, unimportant matters mm -hmm. that people, amen, might bring your way. Oh, yeah. Amen. This, amen, gentleness, amen. Let you know, amen, I'm going to tell, I'm going to live for Christ no matter what. And it, it made me come back to where the old folks were, amen. No matter how many children they had, how much, amen, food, amen, they didn't have enough food. They would come to church, amen, joy in the Lord like it's their last day. They have the joy of the Lord, amen. amen. If you, and people want to know, how can you rejoice, amen, in troubles all around you? Because I know who's in control. Yeah. I know, amen, where who, who hold my future. Oh, yeah. oh, amen. Yeah. You got to think, amen, about, amen, what your next move going to be. Oh, yeah. Amen. As long as you in the Lord, amen, amen, this, amen, can't, amen, 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 keep it down, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, but he went on and said, he said, but now, 
And then the New King James Version said, but anxiety for, he said, but he said, be anxiety for nothing, but in everything through prayer and supplication. Anxiety, y'all. Amen. You go away, man. You just key up anxiety. And, amen. And when he said careful, when he said, he said, be careful, it means to, and, and when he said, that means anxiety. And when you talk about anxiety, anxiety means, amen, amen, you go key it up, amen, on your phone and Google it, amen. It got all kinds of, amen, you have best, I'm going to give you the best 12, amen, how to straighten out, amen, anxiety, to deal with it, amen, how to handle it. But in all of the whole list, is nothing about the law. But in this, amen, the Greek word for anxiety means to, amen, a a having a double having 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 a mind divided. Anxiety, amen, will come up on you, amen. But he said now, he said, but he said, for nothing. In everything through prayer and suffocation. He giving you the eye, he giving you the thing what to do, amen. When trouble come your way, I want you to rejoice. I want you to go up on your job. I want you to be in your family member. I want you to hold up the standards. And when you have anxiety, what you do? You pray yeah. you suffer. Prayer through suffocation. Yes. That means prayer and suffocation. Yes. That means what? You don't meditate on it. All right. See, when they have anxiety, they, mean, they tell you to do yoga, they tell you to stretch, amen, put your hand together, cross your legs. See, <laughs> see that'd be out with me already, because y'all can't crawl my legs. <laughs> so I can't do yoga, amen, because I couldn't, amen, so I got to do something else. Amen. So, so prayer, amen, I can do that. So, amen. And then they tell me to sit down and crawl my leg. See, I'm going to go to sleep there and my leg going to fall over. See, ain't nothing going to get done. There's going to be pain and stress up on me. But this anxiety, amen, he let you know, amen, it's a mind thing that what God can bring you through this, amen, yes, and you don't yes. have to have no yoke. My God, my God. He do pride and suffocation. Okay. And then all he come back again and say, with Thanksgiving. Because well, yeah. yeah. when, when you're going through something, sometimes it's so tough. Things at home ain't quite right. That's right. You don't know. You don't know about them. Oh, that they, 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 you kind of figure out how you're gonna do this, and then uh, and you. And you so then watch. See, church people don't need no gun. See, because it's, oh, it's, oh, it's easy. I mean, because it's a quick reaction. You know, some of you and some women will just kill you all the bullets on you because you 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 worried about all them bullets, bro. And, and so then you they don't need no gun. Peace be still. 
The first thing we do what? Stop going to church. Mm-hmm. Stop seeking God. Yeah. Stop going to Bible study. But he telling us, amen, he, he told me, he said, whatever goes your way, even you press your way away to go to church. Because yeah. if you get to the house of the church, amen, God got some saints there, amen, to encourage you, amen. He said, encourage one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pray for one another. Mm-hmm. And if you're sick, amen, call on the elders of the church. Yeah. Amen, when in the church, amen, things, amen, can make a turnaround. The joy of the Lord yeah. is my strength. And then every verse let them know when you think me to meditate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all, there you go again. So y'all, amen. I ain't got to crawl my leg, amen. Amen. And scratch my arms out, amen. Touch my nose, not that. Amen. Just meditate on God's oh, word. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Because I told y'all I can't crawl my leg, amen. Amen. They too still. I might break them. Amen. So I can't go to none of them class. Amen. Brother Jerry, I won't be able to make it. Amen. So I want you, you got to clap. I want to make that clap. You got to crawl my leg. You got to hang it up. Getting down your knees is yoga, too. Be, 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 on, be on you. But see, get you got to get, get on your knees. I might not be able to get up. So I can just stand up. <laughs> talk to the Lord. Do that too. And just meditate on this. Say, Lord, mm-hmm. Amen, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Amen. You said I meditate on, the, on your goodness. Amen. Yeah. Something don't happen. Yeah, that's it. Glory to God. And the Bible says, amen, he said, meditate on day and night. Yes, oh, that God, amen. You don't have time, amen, for no foolishness, amen. Right. They ain't trying to keep you down. You right. meditate on day and night. Yes, amen. Right. Something gonna happen, amen. Chain yes, gonna take you. I tell you, amen, the prescription is to know, amen, that God, amen, you meditate on something ought to happen. And as I get ready to close, amen, I'm telling you about, amen, this plane, amen. You know, it seems like all the time, amen, my spirit's on the plane. And it shouldn't be. Amen. Me and the lady always come on some spirit with the plane. Amen. This plane, amen, you all, amen, we begin to get on, amen. We were coming back from this trip. And I got ready to get on the plane. And I always, I don't know about y'all, amen, I pray before I get on that plane. I don't care what you say, amen. That's too high up and I can't jump that high. Because I found out, amen, I can't fly. Amen. All that Superman stuff, that stuff don't work. Amen. So I can't fly. Amen. So, amen. So we got it that we get. I begin to pray, Lord, protect us. Amen. To get back home. And y'all I'm ready to go back home. I don't care when and nothing like home. Like anyway, what well, daughter said, clap your heel. Yeah, no place like home. <laughs> amen. You were sleeping on bed at night. They treat you nice. Amen. This is that and thing, but nothing like my me. Amen. So I'm ready to go home, y'all. Got all my stuff. We got on the plane. Y'all, and made my arrival, see, made, made, made our arrival, amen, check the luggage in, and y'all, I didn't have all that stuff on like I did last time. So I read, I come right on through. Amen, they checked me on in, I got there, we got on the plane, y'all, they called our number, and we thought we were finna leave on time. And we sat, and we sat, and we sat, and Zion began to sit in my part. And we sat, and y'all, I know we wouldn't be able to make it now in this COVID. Amen. And the man was sitting beside us, amen, kind of, amen, a heavy set guy, amen. And, and this guy was sweating. Y'all, he was sweating. And Lady D, y'all, lady, y'all not know Lady D. She don't like, she don't like if I sit close to nobody, so she had me in the center. This guy, this guy, then he was cold. I said, that was cold. She was just saying, Lord, God, don't get me out of here. Lord, the, the man was sitting, he was sweating. She, she was looking at me, oh. <laughs> we both have an anxiety. We don't know what to do. And they sit there and say, y'all, the air conditioning ain't working. I'm saying, y'all, we used to the air conditioning. We got to get me home. The pilot said the air ain't working. We got to get off this plane. So we sit on that plane for 30 minutes to see if they can get it repaired. And y'all, then I'm getting mad now, amen, because I'm ready to go home, amen, and we're not there yet. So inside, we get to sit here. I'm getting to, amen, Lord, what is going on here? And you all, amen, we got off that plane, amen. Sit down, and y'all, you ought to saw a lady get off that plane. Oh, Lord, she's trying to get away from that man. <laughs> I said, boy, that was a pandemic, y'all. She they would have put him in jail. She said, something wrong with y'all, man. Just put him in jail. <laughs> man, I mean, he was sweating so y'all and coughing. Lord, I was just sitting there, and she was sitting up on me so close. I said, now, any other time, y'all had to hold you. She's like, oh, oh, oh. God. We got off that plane, y'all. Got down to the next terminal. 
waited and waited and waited and began to get mad. And you know, that pie, the same pie, same pie. Walked around the other place, he looked and looked and looked. He walked around there, looked and looked. And, and they said, well, we got a plane down here. He looked and looked. We ain't taking take that plane either. I said, what's wrong with the pie? I said, he went crazy or something. He didn't take that plane. The tide didn't look right. And y'all, this plane here ain't been driven, so we ain't flying this train plane either. And we were late, y'all. And I had, amen, L.O.Z. for pick us up. Amen. We were going to be late. That brother, y'all, when we got on the plane, the spirit said, now, did you pray? He said, the anxiety that you had, amen. Why pray, amen? And you worried, amen. Right. Word, amen. amen. You prayed, amen. I gave you the right, amen. And I got you the right captain. That's right. Amen. And knew how to check things out, amen, before you got on the plane. That's right. Right. So you would have got high. Amen. That man was sitting by you hot and sweating and cold and everything. Lady, you won't be able to make it. Amen. So I got you on another plane. Amen. That plane wasn't ready either. Amen. I got you the right man. Amen. That you need. Amen. To make you get home on time. And so when I got on the plane, I began to thank God. So Lord, I thank you. Amen. Because it could have been the other way. Amen. The plane that had a low flat. Amen. We might have made the runway. Amen. But when we got on the plane, Amen. You all, Amen. A good pilot, Amen. You don't have to worry about on time. A good pilot know how to lay that thing back. You lay back all the way. And when he come down, amen, he come down on time. Amen. You ain't got to worry. When God called, amen, seems like he late. Yeah. But when he makes his arrival, y'all, amen, when he tests us, he us fire, amen, you come out of, we're all right. Trust some guidelines you need to follow. Yes. I told you last week, hey, man, if you don't follow God on one part, they let you drive, man. You might be drunk, you might run over somebody. Hey, hey, Ain't it right? Yes. Man, so I don't know what's in there. It might be some alcohol, it might be some strong stuff, my part. You don't need to drive. You might go to sleep. My part, we ain't got to worry about you can't drive, so we don't worry about that. We ain't gonna let you drive no way. No way. No, Lord. And you said, you look. Lord, I tell you, and I'm thank God that she's going to drive you home. I say, oh, Lord, Lord we're going to pray a lot. We're going to pray again. When God do something, you ain't got to worry. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. No matter how bad the stress is. Yeah. Even if, amen, when you got to go to the doctor, amen, yeah. no matter how bad the stress is, yeah. God still is there. Yeah. Amen. They say you got to have that surgery. Amen. Talk to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, I would be, I would have been fine, y'all. Amen. Just whatever the doctor said. Yeah. But when I talked to my auntie, she told me some of the doctors come in, but it came from a party. 
drink. And I said, oh, Lord, I got to pray. Amen. I got to pray. Amen. He got to open me up. Amen. And he ain't quite standing right. Amen. Those doctors ain't always right. But God got the right prescription. He got the right person for the right time. If you have an anxiety, Those that in their bed, those that, amen, I work it all. Strip it right now. Yeah. 
in the name of Jesus. We ask your son, Jesus, that we pray. We give you the glory and honor. Do it right now. Right now, Lord. Hey, he's a now God. Do it right now. You in trouble, you about to throw in the towel. So, Lord, do it right now. In the name of Jesus. Some of you about to give up on. So, Lord, do it right now. Wasn't that a beautiful service? We thank you for joining us today at our service. And didn't our pastor do a wonderful job? Well, if you enjoyed that, please help us with our ministries. Please go to our following streams and donate and give to your offerings or tithes. We appreciate it. And join us next Sunday when we'll have another powerful service.